All right, folks, so I got my starter. Got it off Amazon. It's JNN starter, and it's part number is 410-48238. And as you know, I'm doing the Gen 3 Hemi swap, and you see it, it fits pretty darn good. It even fits in that little hole. The only issue with this starter, what you're gonna have to do, you have to drill out the top bolt hole. See, there's thread in there, so when you try to tighten it, you know it's not gonna go through. So you're gonna wanna drill this hole out to get rid of the thread, so it'll bolt to the bell housing on the top bolt only. But it lines up good with everything else, as you can see. So I'm just gonna drill this out and go get the bolts. So more to come once I get the bolt size, I'll let you know. So you're gonna have to make a little mod on the engine block to make the starter work. Like you can make it work the way it is, but you see these two tabs right here? You got to just grind it down. So basically, when the starter lines up with the two bolts right here, you won't have any issues of lining up the bolt. Like I could have made it work, but I just wanted the starter to be basically restless and like basically in good condition where I didn't have to kind of force the bolts in. So just a little mod you have to do to make the starter work. Those little two tabs, you just want to grind them down. All right, once I put the starter in, you're gonna see the end result. All right, folks, so I installed my flywheel today and like the ARP instruction says, it says add this lube that comes with the flywheel bolts, add it underneath the bolts, and then after that, use the red Loctite 243, and then after you do that, you're gonna torque it down to what? 70 foot-pounds. And that's what I did and you know you're gonna have to use like a bar see I got this big bar in the crank so it wouldn't move so I could hit the 70 foot-pounds and yeah now I gotta install the clutch and pressure plate all right more to come all right folks so I installed a clutch and pressure plate and I oh yeah one thing I also want to note make sure you clean your surfaces I just Anytime I'm installing a clutch and fire wheels, uh, or pressure plate at least, I always clean off the main surface on brake cleaner. You can see there, so just make sure you clean off the pressure plate flywheel surface with some brake cleaner, wipe it down. So yeah, just that little disclosure there. So then I basically torqued down all the bolts to 50 foot pounds. This gave you a little diagram if you're using a 516 to use. Torque it down to 25, etc. I just torque it down to um, 50 foot pounds all the way around and yeah so that is it so next I'm gonna install the bell housing and then I'm gonna probably install the freaking um, transmission just to see the little modification I did cutting off the input shaft if it's gonna basically bolt up with no issue if I got it perfectly so more to come peace okay so as you can see I have to start and install now now the main reason why you wanted to do that little grinding on those two little mounts on the engine was you see that there's a gap now where the starter is. There used to be the starter was like rubbing against it but since I grinded it down there's no more gap there. So it just makes the bolt easier to align and easier for the um, starter for you to install the starter because the bolts don't have all that tension on it. And here you can see how the starter and the flywheel is right there as soon as you hit the key and engage it boom she's flying and starting so this is all for right now because i kind of will need some help to move this stuff to install the transmission but i will have the transmission part done so more to come stay tuned peace